Welcome to your mat. Find a comfortable position, perhaps lift it up onto a block, a blanket, or a pillow. Feel the sitting bones beneath you. Stack the crown above the tailbone. And then close your eyes, turning the gaze inward to notice what is here. And bring awareness to your breathing. Allow it to slow if that feels natural. And add a sound at the back of your throat for ujjayi breath creating a rhythm throughout your practice. As you make your way to your exhales, exhale fully, find the very bottom. And as you do, lift up from the pelvic floor, mula bandha, the root lock, like you're drawing energy from the earth. Then as you inhale, you can subtly soften that, breathing right up into the heart and into the crown, lifting tall. And then again, upon your exhales, let them be very full, very complete. Find the very bottom. Draw energy up from earth to Mula Bandha, and that Mula Bandha feed into Uddiyana Bandha, your belly lock. Softening on the inhalation, let the heart lift, the crown lift, fill up. Find that again and again, a handful of times together, emptying radically. Engage the pelvic floor, engage the deep abdominal wall. Establish that foundation, and inhaling for length and space. Continue breathing your pace. Find one more complete cycle. And we'll prepare for Kapalabhati breath. And we'll do three rounds. First round will go pretty slowly so we can mm -hmm. find the engagement. And then we'll pick up speed in successive rounds. So find a natural cycle of breath. Emptying fully, find the bandhas. Take a breath in. Nice and slow. Easy breath in between, ujjayi. Find your way to empty. And take a breath in, preparing for second round, slightly faster if you want to. Easy breaths in between, ujjayi breath. Emptying all the way, find the bandhas, lift from the ground up. Finding your way to inhale, last round.
back to Ujjayi. Let's bring prayer hands into the heart, bowing chin to chest. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice. And let's lift the head, joining in the sound of Om. Breath in. Releasing hands, Let's be begin this practice on all fours. So sending legs behind you, right up into tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Okay. Tuck the toes underneath as you inhale, arch and lengthen. Feel the back body engage at cow. Exhale, empty radically, untuck toes, push the ground away, tuck and empty. And again, tuck toes as you arch, lengthen. Exhale, empty. Last one like this, tuck and arch. Untuck and empty. Back to neutral spine. Take a peek over your right shoulder. Get that opening in the neck. And then a peek over the left shoulder. And then start to make motion in your all fours. Any motion is perfect. Go intuitive. Let your body do the awakening. It's moving into the spine. The neck. Shoulders and hips. Arrive to neutral tabletop position. Come back to arching cow. And then exhale, lower like half a push-up to chest. Snake the legs out, lift the heart, lift the hands. Draw the tail backward on the mat, lift the belly high. Take another inhale to lift. And exhale, press the hips to heels. Find child's pose, the arms reaching forward. You could split the knees. Directing breath to the back body. Wave up to tabletop, tuck the toes, come in for downward facing dog. That down dog making motion, bending into each knee. Let the head be heavy, the neck loose. Put a little bend in your elbows. Take them wide to the side. Draw the shoulders wide as well. And then exhale, wrap the elbows back in. Keep the shoulder blades broad. Do that a few more times, like circles. Elbows stirring two big pots. Straighten through the arms and then drag the hands to the back of the mat nice and slow to find a forward fold. You can always soften the knees. We'll spend a few rounds of breath here, giving the legs a chance to open. And back is heavy so the vertebrae make space. And peek forward, walk the hands back to the top of the mat for downward facing dog. And then come on to toes, plug your leg bones into hip sockets as you take a tiptoe walk to the top of the mat. Landing hands to shins, lengthen, look forward. 
Exhale, bow down, Uttanasana, tuck the chin. Again, lengthen, look forward, maybe fingertips to floor. Exhale, bow down, empty all the way. Last time, inhale, look forward. This time, come all the way up, reach to the sky, palms touch overhead, and hands move through heart center. Into sun salute, A's. Sweeping the arms up high, ground to rise. On the exhale, slow motion, feeling everything. Take a fold to the very bottom. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, step your right foot to the back. Sweep the left arm high, inhaling. Exhale, hand to the ground, all the way down. Could be knees, chest, chin to belly. Lifting to cobra, inhaling. Exhale, downward facing dog. Finding the rhythm of breath. And then a focal point to land on. Inhale the right leg up high behind. Exhale, place this foot between your hands. On the inhale, roll right arm to the sky. Exhale, hands come down. Step to the top, flat back. Fold over legs, bowing. Inhale, root and rise, reach tall. Exhale, hands through heart. Come back in, reaching up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, flatten out. Exhale, left foot to the back of the mat. Sweep the right arm high, inhaling. Exhale, hands to the ground, lower all the way down. So it's one long exhalation. Untuck toes, lift cobra. Belly takes you back to downward facing dog. Sounding breath. As you inhale, sweep the left leg high. Place this foot between your hands. Sweep the left arm high, breathing in. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step to the top and fold, emptying. Root down, rise high. Hands to heart. Let's take one more. Your style this time, reaching up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, flat. Exhale, step or float back. Chaturanga if it's in the practice. You can always come in for knees, chest, chin, or lower all the way to the belly. Keep listening to the signals from your shoulders. Five breaths in downward facing dog. And connecting to a steadiness internally even if you're moving physically. Next exhale, preparing, bend the knees and you choose it. Step or spring, top of the mat, flat back, fold over legs, rise to the sky, reach above. And hands to the heart. Hands to the waist. Take the feet hips distance apart and we're gonna mess around with our B's again. Put a bend through knees. Send the left knee off to the side and then cross for figure four, ankle over right thigh. Hands into heart and we'll bring this low for the hip opening of it. So if it makes sense in your body, place the shins or the forearms on your shin. Unraveling to standing split. So this left leg kicks back behind. The hands come land on the ground. A few breaths. Mm -hmm. 
And then a giant step back, round the back heel. Warrior one, reach till you touch the sky. And exhale, hands come down, they frame the foot. You can sweep the right leg high behind you. Take any three-legged flow of your choosing. I'm gonna cross my right ankle over. Lower down, stay engaged through belly. I'm not gonna untuck the toes as I come open up, dog, ribs forward. Exhaling, belly back, downward facing dog. Three cycles of breath now. I'm slowing them down, keeping them a somewhat um, similar rhythm through the practice. Next exhale, bend the knees. We're gonna step or hop right into Utkatasana chair pose. So when you're ready for it, bent knees, sweep the arms up high. Stand up tall, hands to the waist, step feet hips distance apart. Send the right knee off to the side. Bend the left knee, cross figure four, right ankle over left thigh, hands to the heart. Take it lower and lower. Maybe forearm bones come to shin. Some breathing space in the outer hip. And there's a hugging in to the center line, even if you're descending. The unravel is standing split. Sweep the right leg back behind, hands to the ground. Take the bow. So if you want to keep really solid, really precise alignment, maybe you knock knee to knee just to keep the hips squaring, the right inner thigh lifting. Okay. Take a giant step back, right foot lands, back of the mat, ground the back heel on the inhale, fingers reach to the sky. Exhale, hands to the ground, sweep the left leg back behind you. You could take any three-legged flow, maybe crossing ankle, firm belly, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, strong legs. Exhale, Adho Mukha, Svanasana, three more breaths here. Bottom of the next exhale, bend the knees. We'll step or float it right to Utkatasan. Stand up tall. Hands to the waist, step feet, hips distance apart. We got one more time on each side. Send the left knee wide. Bend the right knee, cross the ankle. Figure four, bringing it low. Just standing split, just long enough to find the pinnacle of the shape for you. And connect to breathing. Warrior one, step down, firm footing to touch the sky, breathe in. Exhale, hands to earth, three-legged flow if you want. If you don't, you step the foot down, take a good old flow. Downward facing dog, three breaths. Preparing, bend the knees, leap right into Utkatasana. You can always step. Stand tall, Tadasana. Hands to the waist, step feet, hips distance apart. Last time for funky bees, send the right knee wide to side. Put a bend through left knee, cross the ankle over, figure four, take it low. Unravel, standing split. To warrior one, ground back heel, firm legs. Reach the heart up, fingers up. 
Exhale, hands to the ground. Sweep the left leg high behind. Three-legged flow or four-legged flow. Back through to downward facing dog. Three more breaths. Bottom of your next exhale, bend the knees, step or pounce, Utkatasana. And stand up tall. Hands to the waist, step feet hips distance apart. Draw the elbows back, lift the chest high. And take a fold. You can wrap your arms right around your own legs. Totally okay to keep the knees soft. And grip anywhere that's making sense in your body. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step on the feet. Padahastasana, or step on the hands. Fingers face the heels, lengthen out. Take the bow all the way down. A little lift through the shoulders. Active engagement at the abdomen. Even a rooting down through the heels as you lift through the sits bones. Inhale, lengthen. Release the fingers. Exhale, hands to the waist. Inhale, lift to tall, little back bend and a neutral spine. Release the arms, come back to Tadasana, and then join the feet close together. Let's find our first sequence. So on an inhalation, sweep the arms wide and overhead. Take a dive down to Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back all the way through the vinyasa. Honoring the fullness of each breath. Back in, downward facing dog. Sweep your right leg high behind. On an exhale, knee to nose, empty. Sweep back out. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Set the back knee down. Untuck the toes, make it like a peaceful warrior. So left hand slides down, left leg. Right arm reaches up. About three breaths. Connect from ground to belly to create this freedom through the chest. And on an exhale, right hand outside, right foot. Tuck the left toes, lift that knee, settle the heel down. We'll build side angle this way, crossing left arm over ear. You can always come up to forearm if this is too low. So anchor through left foot to reach long. Breathing to the side ribs. And we'll come to Trikonasana. So with one big circle reaching up with this left arm, we'll slowly straighten the right leg and glide the right hand into place. Staying wide open through the front body. Don't care about the depth. Just look for freedom across the hips across the chest, from tail to crown. Sipping on breath. Next exhale, cross the left arm over your ear. And then use all that length to roll down. The back heel lifts. The hands plant, will soften the right knee and sweep that leg high behind you. Take a three-legged flow or a four-legged flow. Back through Adho Mukha Shvana, sweeping the left leg high. On an exhale, knee to nose, push the ground away. Inhale, sweep back out behind. 
Exhale, step the foot between your hands, settle back, knee down, make like crescent, untuck toes, or like peaceful. Right hand slides, the left arm lifts. Connect down to find the belly. Keep protecting the low spine as you get spacious in the front ribs. And exhale, left hand outside, left foot. Tuck the back toes, lift that knee, set the heel down. Find side angle, crossing right arm over the ear, and you can always come to forearm. Use the breath to carve us out from the inside out. One big circle of the right arm will take you into triangle, left hand sliding into place. Insist on that broadness through the front body, especially. And then find the belly and the long lines radiating in every direction. And rhythm and breathing. Next exhale, right arm crosses the ear. And use all that space to roll down. Hands plant back, heel lifts. Soften left knee, sweep this leg high behind. Three-legged flow if you'd like it. You can always skip the flows. Back through downward facing dog. Sweep the right leg high. This time stack the hip, bend the knee. Stay connected to the deep belly. And then right knee will tap left, tricep empty. Sweep back out behind. This time right knee, right tricep empty. Sweep back out behind. Last time, right knee, right tricep, but the ankle touches left tricep. So on an exhale, come all the way forward. Sweep back out behind. And then exhale, place this foot between your hands. Again, settle back, knee down, untuck toes. This time come up, let the right hand travel down. Back leg, left arm reaches up and back. If you'd like to add on, left hand behind the head. So stay with the sweetness for a while. The shoulders wrapping onto the back. On an exhale, come all the way up and around. Hands to plant, back toes tuck, find standing split. And left leg lifts high. If you'd like, hook the right hand or forearm around the back ankle. And then we'll take a step back, only about three feet. So left foot steps, setting up for pyramid shape. Hands to fingertips, lengthen the spine, square the hips, and take a bow. I think this pose is beautiful and enough as it is. And if you'd like to add on, take your arms to slice the front leg, interlace fingers behind the left kneecap. Next breath in, fingertips to floor, lengthen, look forward. Keep the left fingers here, right hand to the low back. Roll the right shoulder open and find a rotating triangle. You can keep this arm arrangement or take left hand to the outer edge of right foot. Stay long through torso, kind of lifted through the left seat. Three more breaths. Good to get throaty with the exhales. And then roll all the way down. Sweep the right leg high behind you. You're in a tighter stance now, so a good opportunity for chin stand if you'd like to take it. 
lowering, floating up, all the way through. You never have to do that in your practice for it to be complete. But if it feels great, great. We'll sweep the left leg high. Stack the hip and the knee. Keep connecting to the deepest, lowest part of your belly. And on an exhale, left knee, right tricep, cross the body. Sweep back out behind. Left knee, left tricep. Sweep back out. Left knee, left tricep, ankle to right tricep. Inhale, sweep back out. And exhale, place the foot between your hands. Settle back, knee down, up and around. Left hand travels down, back leg, right arm reaches up. If you'd like to add on, right hand behind the head. Keep making freedom through the lower back, distributing the bend through the whole of the spine. come up and around hands frame the foot back toes tuck come on back to standing split and right leg lifting if you'd like to encourage the depth left forearm behind the left ankle I'm going to step back for pyramid, about three feet, right toes to the right front corner of the mat, two strong long legs and square hips, lengthen the spine, and take a bow. Perfectly good place, or arms slice the front leg, interlace fingers behind the right leg. Stay connected through the feet, through the lower locks, that strength feeding the length of legs and spine. And then release it and lengthen, look forward. Right fingers stay, left hand to the small of your back, roll the left shoulder open. You can stay here adding left arm or right hand walks over to the left, creating revolve triangle. Still lifting through the right hip, long through spine. Three more breaths. And a rolling all the way down. Hands plant for three-legged flow. And it's all right that you're in a tighter stance because it can facilitate the chin stand, the Gandha Barandasana, if you want it. Chin down low. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Wave it forward. Plank. Lower onto belly. Rest the arms by your sides. Take a cheek down. Take a few moments to feel the heartbeat. And we'll set up for two prone back bends one locust, one bow. So you can keep the arms reaching back for locust, okay. except we're going to interlace the fingers low behind. On an inhalation, lift the arms and chest and add the legs. Stay strong through the belly, kind of long through the low back. So we're asking the upper back to lift. Two more breaths. And a rest. 
release. Rest the other cheek. You can rock the hips. And climb onto forearms in Sphinx pose. So we're headed to bow, but I just want to show a grip that I really like. You bend one leg, reach back with the hand facing the inner palm facing the outside, the lateral body, and the thumb would point up. So you get this big external rotation for your shoulders if you can reach it, okay? If not, take the usual grip. When you're ready, kick back with legs, lift through heart, stay long and strong through abdomen. Three full breaths. And a release. Rest the cheek once again, rocking hips. And then plant hands, press up to all fours. Tuck toes, take downward facing dog. Okay, small step in, preparing for last standing sequence. Put a bend through the knees. Float back in Utkatasana. Bent knees, sweep the arms up. Come right in to figure four. Left ankle crosses right. Come down low. This is enough. Keep working here. If you can get down to the ground, fantastic. If you can act like the upper arms are a shelf, the shin and bone is up high on the armpits, that left foot flexes, hands walk far away from the back foot. You might be able to find Galavasana, your flying pigeon. Kicking right heel to glute. That's gone well, extending the leg behind you. Go for three sounding breaths. Send the knee back in slowly. Keep the figure four crossing as you build uh, a fold. Take a bow. Lengthen, look forward, slide that foot down. Take the feet as wide as the mat and find forward fold. Feeling very free to dangle left and right. Peek forward, heel toe the feet back together. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. Right in, second side. Right knee goes wide, right ankle crosses left thigh. Hands come to heart, come sink low. It's a great hip opener. You can stay right here or work the hands to the ground, staying here, any phase of it. If you do Galavasana or any variations, any build-ons, beautiful. We'll give ourselves time for that. Really flexing that right foot. A little space between the foot and the hands. Might mean you wiggle the back foot back. Okay. Hugging in through Mula Bandha, heart is forward. Heel kicks to booty. If that's gone well, that left leg extends back behind you. Stay strong even through the knee and the foot for three more breaths. And then slowly take it back in. Keep the figure four crossing as we take forward fold. Slowly slide the right leg down. Plant the feet. Then take a giant step back with the left foot. Parallel the feet. Lengthen spine. Take a fold. In this fold, let there be movement. So you could rock the hips from side to side, sway the torso. If it's feeling natural, bend into one knee and then the other. All rolls out the window, so go as deep as you like. Make any arm variations that would feel good. center. 
lengthen and then pivot over toward the right foot. Face the front of the mat once again. Step back, downward facing dog. Waving forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga or lower. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Now come onto toes, bend the knees and step or hop through to sit down. Extending the legs out in front. Let's get something sweet after all that hard work. So we'll open the left leg really wide on the mat. Take your hands down, send the sitting bones back, lift the heart high, point the toes up. And we'll come onto the fingertips and stay long through the spine, grounded through the legs as you make your way forward and lifting the sides of the body by rocking a bit in one direction, then the other. And find the very bottom. It should be a place where there is progress happening, but still comfort can dominate. Often that will mean backing up. Spend a little time in this one as the inner legs really do need some time. It's in a pretty common place to be tight, too. Begin to crawl back up. Come back in for neutral spine. And we'll send this left leg off to meet the right. Facing forward on your mat. Put a bend through the knees. Hug the knees into your chest and let's roll all the way down to the back. Plant the feet really close to the sits bones. So you can touch your own heels. If that doesn't happen, it's really okay. Send weight through the feet. Ignite the legs to lift the back body into front body. If you'd like to go farther, interlace fingers, rock the shoulders underneath you. Feel free to stay here in bridge pose for the next six or so breaths. But if a moment comes where you'd like to pull this into a wheel and certainly unlace the hands, plant them next to your ears. Draw the elbows in, come to head, and then heels down, legs strong, press all the way up. As you're ready to come down, tuck the chin slowly lower. Draw the knees into outer ribs and rock side to side. Cross the right leg over the left, plant the left foot down, lift your seat and send it over to the right about two inches. Let the knees fall to the left as you take cactus arms, making the shoulders very heavy. You can stay right here in this lovely twist. If you'd like to add on a bit though, extend this right leg take hold of the foot to anchor it down. And keep sending the right hip down to the bottom of the mat and get that right side body space.
and take it back into center, uncrossing the legs and finding the opposite side. Knees come in, left leg crosses. I'll stamp the right foot down, lift the seat, send it over about two inches as the knees fall to the right. Really anchor through that left shoulder. You can relax into this twist or add on extending the left leg long, anchoring that foot down. And stay spacious from left hip to left shoulder. yourself layer by layer to the ground. Come back to center, uncross, extend the legs up toward the sky, reach your arms up above your head, and I'll take a 10 count to slowly lower the legs, keep hugging in at the belly, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep drawing navel back, 6, 5, 4, Three, still hovering, two, and one. Spread the feet out as wide as the mat. Send the arms alongside you, palms facing up with room for the shoulders. The eyes closed. Face soft. Feel as though your periphery are so porous that you take up space far beyond this physical body. This will be a five minute Shavasana and then I'll wake us up.
Come slowly back to breathing. And small movement. Finding your way to bigger and bigger movement. Drawing the knees into chest. Mm. Roll to one side. And climb on up for a final seat. Hands into prayer. And thanks for this practice. And thanks for all those we practice with across the world each time we step on the mat. Thank you. Namaste.